Assalamu alaikum, ladies and gentlemen. Today, people use computer and information technology to do many things in their lives. In order to complete assignment, homework, and sharing learning materials, students and lecturers need an access to information and communication technology. Have you ever wondered how computer help us do all this work? Today's topic will help you to understand how the computer works, starting with its operating system and applications. First, let me introduce to you the key concept and definition of operating system, type of operating system, and its function. At the same time, I will share with you what the YouTuber has to say about Windows operating system as compared to other operating system. Next is about productivity application, graphics, software, and other application too. Everywhere we look, computers are a change in a world. For example, desktop, server, and mobile device. So, what is an operating system used by a desktop? The most popular operating system used by a desktop computer is Windows and Mac OS. This is followed by Unix, Linux, and Chrome OS. What is an operating system used by a server? They are Windows Server, Mac OS Server, Unix, Linux, and Chrome OS. Let's see the difference between Linux and Windows in this video. Thank you. 
Next, what is an operating system used by smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices? Some of the most popular OS for mobile devices include Android, Apple iOS, and Windows. In the next video, you can see the reasons why some users prefer Mac OS compared to Android. Let's consider the role of operating system and some important functions. As we already know, operating system can perform multiple functions. Some of the functions are to provide a user interface, managing memory, monitor performance, and ensure optimum and effective utilization of resources. What is Windows and when the Windows begins? To answer that question, please watch this video to help you understand the history of Windows. Ah, 
on Microsoft Windows, the king of the PC. Love it or hate it, Windows is one of the most profitable products ever made, with 1.6 billion users. So, how'd we get here? Well, our story starts in 1981. A small software company called Microsoft hit it big with a text-based operating system called MS-DOS for IBM's new personal computers. DOS was efficient for the time, but the average computer user wanted something more accessible. So Microsoft used an internal product called Interface Manager to put a graphical face on DOS. Cut to 1985, and you've got Windows 1.0. Well, this really is a great product. It may look crude, but this first version of Windows was pretty revolutionary. It brought us the things we know and love to this day. Drop-down menus, scroll bars, icons, and dialog boxes. It also used this new device called a mouse to help users practice their mousing skills. Version 1.1 included the game Reversi. Can you believe it? Reversi! In 1987, Windows 2.0 arrived with better graphics, including overlapping windows. One year later, Microsoft became and stayed the largest PC software maker. In the early 90s, Microsoft sold tens of millions of copies of Windows 3.0 and 3.1 and say hello to Procrastination Classics, Solitaire, and Minesweeper. Then Windows Mania hit an all-time high in 1995 with Windows 95. Microsoft sold 7 million copies in the first five weeks. The start menu arrived, and so did lots of bugs. Windows 98 was essentially an across-the-board upgrade, but not everyone was happy. You told us Windows 98 would be faster! It is faster, over 5 million times. Y2K. Microsoft put out Windows ME for home, which no one bought, and a loaded up Windows 2000 for business, which boosted sales with a pricier option. Their 2001 successor, Windows XP, was fast, stable, and tuned for the internet and media. It was a hit with consumers. After six years of awesome, Microsoft tried to write a brand new Windows. Vista ended up being a terrible mess of glitches. It took Microsoft two years to fix the mess it had made with Windows 7, a product finally good enough to convince most people to move from XP. In 2012, Microsoft tried to be radical again with Windows 8. It did away with the traditional desktop and replaced it with tiles, which attempted to bridge PCs, laptops, tablets, and smartphones. Most people were confused and went back to the familiar desktop. And what about Windows 9? I don't know, what about it? Today, we have Windows 10. It takes us back to the familiar desktop and start menu, and it's free. This will also probably be the last time Microsoft puts a number on Windows. Going forward, Windows will just be Windows. What is operating system? In a simple term, Operating system is a key program that manages all hardware and software. It has control of every process, file, memory, and device. It is very important as it serves as a middleman to ensure both hardware and software interact correctly. Now, let's talk more about the different between system software and application software. What is system software? System software is the first software to be loaded into computer memory. It can manage computer basic functions such as storing data, retrieve file, and scheduling the task. Three type of system software are an operating system language processor, and device driver. So why a system software is required? It is because the system software act as an interface between the computer and the user. Since the computer speaks different language than the human, we need system software to convert all human language into instruction that can be understood by the computer. Next, what is an application software? It is a software that performs a single task and commonly used, for example, word processing, spreadsheet, and slide.
how humans interact with programs and apps. We can interact with desktop app when using a desktop computer. When you are using your mobile device, you can interact with your mobile apps. Mobile apps are usually faster and more advanced, similar to web app. Web app is a special type of cloud app that is accessed using the internet by visiting a website in a browser such as Gmail, Google Drive, and Facebook. Cloud app can be accessed whenever and wherever you are. Programs and apps can take many forms. Let's begin with open source software. What is open source software? Open source software is a software whose source code is freely distributed with a license to study, change, and further distribute to anyone for any purpose. Who use open source software and why they choose to use it? Programmer will use and improve upon the open source code and then share the changes within the community. Let's say if a programmer wants to develop a software but he cannot afford to do it from scratch. So as an alternative, he can take the open source software and customize it according to his need. The reasons are because of security, affordability, and locality. What are the types of open source software available in the market? First is freeware. It is available free of cost but cannot be modified because the source code is not available. The example of freeware are Google Chrome for browsing the web, Adobe Acrobat PDF Reader for reading PDF file, Skype used for chatting. Second is shareware. Where it is initially free and can be distributed. However, it needs to be paid for after a stipulated period of time because the source code is not available. For example, if you use WinRAR for compressing your file, you can just download it and need not to pay for it. But after 45 days, it will have asked you to pay for it. Otherwise, you cannot use it. Next is public domain software. What is public domain software? Let's break down that phrase. First is public, which means open to all. Second is domain, which refers to an ownership of things. So public domain means all people can own, modify, distribute, also the software. There is no restriction, no license, no trademark or pattern attached to the software anymore. It became a public domain because the term of copyright is expired. So it now belongs to everyone. Custom software. What is custom software? Custom means it is made or done according to customer order. In other words, it is a custom-made software. So we can say that custom software is a software that is specially made to a particular shop or business. For example, pharmacy such as Watson 
April and Caring may have a custom software to keep track membership of their customers. Also, custom software would be able to allow the employees work more efficiently. Retail software is a ready-made software available in the market, such as Google Email, UBS for accounting software application, and games name Angry Bird. The cost is less because it is mass produced and can be easily set up if compared to custom software. What is productivity apps? It is named so because it increases productivity and help the professional or common user to enhance and complete their tasks. Productivity apps is a software dedicated to producing information such as documents, presentations, worksheets, database, charts, graph, painting, music, and video. Office Suite, which brought word processing, spreadsheets, and database are the core example of productivity software. What programs do you need if you are graphic designer? As a graphic designer, depending on what job you are doing, you have to use particular design software. The main software you will find yourself using is computer added design. CAD is used by engineer, architect, artist, and designer to produce technical drawings. Next is Desktop Publishing or DTP. What is Desktop Publishing? The editor used publishing software to create the layout, graphic, and covers of a magazine, newspaper, brochure, book, and etc. Some of the popular desktop pub publishing software are Adobe Photoshop, Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. What is personal interest applications? It is an application designed for specific activities related to lifestyle, entertainment, medical, and education activities. The applications can be downloaded to your desktop, mobile device, and can be browsed through the web apps. It is common for people to communicate with each other from remote place using communication technology. What is communication application? It is an application that make it possible for us to exchange information and make discussion in real time. Popular communication application are mobile tech messaging, video conference, email, and live chat. These apps are provided at low to no cost. Without anyone noticing, users are exposing their personal data to unauthorized person when using their computers. That is why security is necessary. It is essential for maintaining privacy and confidentiality. In order to keep your computer safe, you need an antivirus program to seek 
one and destroy the virus that may harm your computer. In addition to that, you need a personal firewall to protect your computer from potential hackers. Internet filters will help you to monitor and restrict the internet activity, especially when you have children using your internet connection. Do you know that computer can help manage your file? Of course, it can be done using what is known as file management tools. File management tool is an important function of operating system since it provides regular file management tasks such as search, update, and preview. Some examples are Windows Explorer in Windows OS and Google Desktop to create and search the file that you have lost. Next, we have file compression tool. What is file compression tools do? It can decrease the space or size of file because of limited memory storage. If you have compressed your file, it cannot be read directly. You have to uncompress it by the compression tools like WinRAR. It is so important that you back up your data before it is stolen or even lost. You can do that by using backup utilities. It helps you to back up your file and save it somewhere else. In case of network system, backup may be done on backup server. And next. What is this defragmenter means? Defragmentation reduces the amount of fragmented file on your hard drive. It can be used to speed up the performance of the computer. Other than that, a screen saver and power management that can reduce and force an application to stop when it consumes too much of battery power. I think I have to stop too for taking too much of your time. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what I want to share with you. Thank you.